to uh, Bright Spark Ideas. Um, today I'm going to uh, give you a quick overview of how I built this uh, off-grid solar system using the uh, GrowWatt. It's a SPF 3000 TL MVM. Basically it's an all-in-one package. Uh, the off-grid solar inverter and what it has in its features um, it's this is the 24 volt version um, and it has a uh, pure sine wave uh, output of uh, 3 kilowatts uh, this is the base of my system and um, I have a couple of um, battleborn batteries uh, in the in the box below so this is uh, what I built and I'm going to have three separate videos that's going to uh, take you through how I uh, put this together. Uh, hopefully you will find it interesting and um, stay with me for all three videos. Woohoo! So my grow what? Off-grid solar inverter arrived yesterday. This is my first chance to lay it out on the board. Um, it came in really nice packaging, well protected. Pretty impressed with that, especially uh, on this long route from China. Um, it comes well, obviously with the uh, user manual and it's got a bunch of cables. Uh, a lot of these will be the parallel connections that you see down the bottom, USB, and I'll probably go through those later. I just wanted to give you a quick look at what this thing looks like. Um, I removed the four screws on the lower panel, and it has your AC input, which will be from the grid, that's here and your line out so this will be out to your appliances once again that's connected down in here pretty good size terminals for uh, good size cables this is your parallel connections USB this will be for you to be able to connect to another grow watt um, this is the 24 volt version uh, you can double that up with the 48 in fact you can daisy chain these um, together. The DC input is on this side so you have your positive and negative inputs from your battery. Good size terminals so you could probably go A gauge um, wire. Your solar panel connection is going to come in through here and connect here and you've got your on off switch. Uh, this looks like some form of fuse uh, and I think the thing to do is I'm going to start laying out my different connections to this to get you a better feel as to how I'm going to use this. I uh, hope this is going to be interesting to you guys. Now I started playing with solar about five years ago when I started making solar generators to go camping with and had a lot of fun putting those together but to be honest with you pretty much everything I know about solar now comes from Will Prowse and if you guys uh, haven't found him yet and are interested in solar he is a must go to person fantastic videos on YouTube for you um, gives you everything from beginning to uh, professional level um, certainly go check him out you can actually uh, connect via his website to uh, Ian at GrowWatt definitely recommend you check in um, GrowWatt uh, out uh, at uh, so that would be 24 7 watt um, and Ian there is really really helpful um, and uh, I don't get anything from uh, promoting these uh, products, uh, but uh, I know Will Prowse does, and certainly uh, would suggest you connect with him and help him with what he is doing. So here's what I was thinking. Um, from the AC in and the AC out, I'm going to put this connector on the board here. This is going to give me 
uh, my connection in. It'll come through the circuit breaker here into the grow watt. The AC out is going to come out of here through a separate um, circuit breaker here. It will come into this box here and I'm probably going to add another one here um, with a couple of I don't think I need GFIs, so I'm probably going to put something like this here uh, as well. Um, this is going to be the basic layout for the AC in and out. Um, I want to connect this to the battery, so I'm going to use probably this circuit breaker. Now I was going to put a switch on here. Um, not sure whether I'm going to need it because I can use the circuit breaker here as um, my cutoff. Uh, I might actually just put that on the battery box. I'm also going to have this little device here, which is can break my Anderson. Um, and the reason for having this is this is going to be mobile. This is going to be set up down in my basement. Um, I currently rent. I don't want to have any real fixtures to walls and things. So this is going to all roll around on a cart. And once again, Will Prowse does a very nice job of putting a cart together if you want a mobile version like this is going to be. So I'm going to start cutting wires and I'll show you how I'm going to connect all this up as we move forward. So one of the things about the grow up is they don't want you to attach it directly to wood. Well, that's kind of tough for me because mine's going to have to be on wood. So what I've done is I've added a couple of extra pieces of wood here that lift it up off of the base. That should provide a nice airflow underneath. Um, you can see here at the top it has a place for a couple of screws and if we work down here you'll also see that down in here, I don't know whether I'm going to stay in focus or not, but down in here yeah there's one screw hole there and sorry about this and there's another one over here. Um, sorry about it being out of focus. But that's going to give me a nice fixing point and it's going to allow a nice airflow around uh, the unit. So, with any luck, that's going to be the way I fix it. Okay, so I now have this clamped down here. It's not fully wound down. Um, I just uh, down it lightly. I'll clamp it down later. I wanted to make sure that I have everything in alignment here uh, for my Anderson plug. Um, obviously, I can run this uh, piece in here now. I can also bring my negative down uh, into the Anderson plug. And I just want to make sure I've got a nice clean line before I do any tightening of the screws and, and of the clamps. So I think that's probably what I need to do next is get that done and before we go on to the next phase. Well I hope you're going to stay with me for the second video um, showing you how I put this together. Um, uh, hopefully you will find it interesting. Um, it seemed to have turned out uh, pretty well and there's going to be a total of three videos showing you how I put all this together. Um, pretty short video so hopefully uh, you will stay with me. Um, this is my first video. If you liked it please uh, click the like button and subscribe as well and that way you will get notifications of the other two videos. Thank you.